Welcome to the SADCAST. <laughs> SADCAST, saddest podcast in the world. How you doing? What's new, man? We we out here. But yeah. I'm feeling good today, honestly. You? you feeling good? I'm tired. Yeah? Yeah, that tired. medicine just knocks my ass out. Like, Damn. Dude, I remember yesterday, I was like, yeah, I'll hit you, you up. You pop a little me- melatonin? It, no, just my medicine. Like oh. my diabetic shit. I was like, yeah, I'm going to hit you up tomorrow at 12 and do that shit. I didn't wake up till 12. Yeah. I went to bed at like 12. I slept 10 hours or when 12 you, hours. Do, when you wake up late, do you feel like a piece of shit or do you just like- All like, the fucking time. Really? I try not to like get in that fr- like frame of mind because like it's not healthy to, to like wake up late and be like, I'm a fucking lazy fuck. Yeah. I'm the problem with society. Yeah. No. Because like, dude, I'm so used to waking up late. I wake up at a good time now, but- Oh man, those days! I like back in the day, like like high school. How, yeah, it was how I back in the, the day, like when you woke up at like four p.m. on the weekends. Oh man, <laughs> oh yeah, dude! Like even like school, I'd like go to sleep at five a.m. to have to wake up at six a.m. or I wouldn't sleep at all through the night. Go to school, which yeah, was but that's because Modern Warfare Two is more important. Oh, it's like, so 100%. much more important, like, dude! You had to get your prestige up. Have you ever gone to school on no sleep? Yeah, I went to college. That shit felt like a <laughs> fever dream. That 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 was my like. Ugh. I was actually just looking at my my Steam for like uh-huh. when I bought my first game, and then I was scrolling up through it, and uh, I used to play this MMO. I would spend like three hundred dollars a week. Holy fuck! Like just buying like like the current like paid currency or whatever, Balling. Like spending shit. Yeah, and you're uh, talking a thousand a month. Yeah. Yeah. On a game. What game was it? Uh, Star Trek Online. Did you feel like you had a problem? Oh, 100%. <laughs> I, I told people I had a problem. I was like, I got a problem. I play this game. We're talking $12,000 a year. Yeah. Like it was, well, I never actually, uh, so I didn't actually play for you a full pay, year. You were paying someone's salary over there. Yeah. Right. Someone, <laughs> I was keeping their, their lights. <laughs> yeah. Literally over at, um, what was it? Star Trek? Star Trek has a game. It was, well, I don't know. If, and I think it still exists. It's actually perfect world. They make the game. Okay. They're the same people that did like Neverwinter and a few other, yeah. MMOs. but like, uh, we got really into it, me and my friends and I would like go to like class, whatever. I'd come home and I'd just get like right on that game. And then, like, I would, like, be doing some shit. And, like, the problem is, when I played that game, like, my buddies were all about, like, I'm going to build the best ship. I'm going to get the best, like, ground weapons and do mission, whatever. Um, I would, like, sit in, like, like their version of the auction house where, like, players can sell items from in-game and buy it and stuff, like like an eBay in-game. Interesting. I would just sit in there and I would buy... You'd be doing an auction in there like, hey, but no, 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 no. Well, the way it works is you can put up items for sale for a certain amount. So I would yeah. look for an item, buy out all the low value versions of the item, knock it up a couple hundred, put it back out in a flood and then yeah. like make a bunch of coin. And the reason I did that was we were trying to like start a fleet, which is like their version of like a guild or a team, whatever. Yeah. The problem is most of the time when you do fleets, you get like tier levels. So okay. it's like, oh, you're fleet level seven or whatever. Okay. Um, gets you a bigger star base, gets you more like fun things and get, cause like the point is you is team this up. Is what you were balling out on? This is what you were spending money on? Like this game. Yeah. Well, so up- because here's the thing. the guild. Right. You know, because so normally you get like, like as you get more people in it, like you, you know, you level up then. Yeah. Well, it was only me and my five friends and nobody wanted to play with us because we were the losers in the corner. Yeah. So I just like did everything I could to boss like, it up. Yeah. Like I just, I fucking, I put on the fucking suit and I got my calculator with the printer. Yeah. And I was like, I'm the accountant. And I yeah. started just like putting like, I would buy, if we needed materials, like I'd just buy them off the market instead of go farm them. Because like the thing is. That's crazy. When so you got this like, was when you were in college, you were playing this game? Yeah. This was 2014, 2013, I never even heard of this game. It's still around. It's, it's just it's a like, Star Trek game. Yeah, Star Trek Online. It's an MMO. You play with like everyone else. You you get your own ship. You do like ship battles, which were really fucking fun. Huh. It's it's really fun, and it was a great game. And so, but I would just sit in the marketplace, and I would just run economics. Like I would be like, we need six thousand dilithium and four thousand wood. I don't whatever you know, like not so wood, but in your in your ship. Was it like you'd walk in like that bitch like it was Cribs? Like you're like... 
So there was, um, you know, like you're like, yo, check out this you, gold plated at first, thing. Like at first, no. At first, it was like your only place you could be on, like with a character, was like um, in space stations or like predetermined ground missions. Yeah. As the game went, they actually added if you were in a party or something, uh, team members could beam aboard your ship, and then your ship had an inside. Right. And you could walk around it. Oh, whatever. It was a little ship party in that bitch. Yeah, yeah. So you could do some shit where it, like we and, and the biggest reason they did that was they started kind of really heavily rolling into the role play side of it because yeah, like yeah, Star yeah. Trek fans, you know, they love. You know, yeah. it's it, you're there for a reason. So yeah. they do. I was actually in a fleet for a while before I made my own, where they did like full-on fucking ceremonies because in the fleets you start as like a, a grunt and then you get leveled up to like you know whatever private commander sergeant. ceremonies like when you pr- when you get promoted yeah so they would actually do some shit where they would like be like they had the guild the 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 the, the, the fleet space station yeah and they'd be like well brush okay. ceremony for jeffrey or you know yeah. like whoever and like they would just, like everyone would show up. They'd be like, "Yeah, it's just they put it in your calendar, guys." Like everyone's just gonna come home from work right. and be like, "Oh, I, oh, guys, sorry, you'd I have can't. A, I got, I got a, a ceremony to go to." <laughs> and they'd be like, "The, the fleet grandmaster would be standing there, and whatever jackass that getting promoted is standing on this side of them, and then the second command is like, standing." We here. are awarding you the fucking right. nicest ship award, no, dude. Actually, it was funny because that fleet was fire as fuck. They would be like, "Yeah, we're uh, so everyone, you know, we're here today." Uh, Timmy has done a great job, um, you know, gets coffees on time for everyone. We're going to promote him. And the thing was, with your promotion, they gave you another ship. And, like, those are big <laughs> ticket items. Like, you had to pay, like, real world money for that shit if you didn't get lucky on rolls. Yeah. So, that was crazy. Dude, they, they be, were like, running you. They were running you for that fucking... I still can't get over that that price tag. Yeah. Well, that's just me. You don't have to pay a dime. My no, buddy, I know, but like, that's like... That's like getting scammed on the internet type of money that's like yeah seventy yeah, three hundred dollars a week but you know what i had so much fun playing it and no, yeah. like the biggest thing was what happened was i got to meet a lot of cool guys that also sat around in front of the terminals and mm-hmm. they were doing the same thing as me they'd so what happened is we kind of became like whales yeah i mean i did gain 50 pounds playing it because i never <laughs> left my chair no but, but you're saying like but you, like, be, you yeah, became like, a, a a big a big uh part of the like the ecosystem. the currency yeah, the, yeah so like we would so keys you could buy those keys 99 cents a key right or you get like five keys for four bucks whatever yeah so people would just put them on the marketplace and be like, yeah. here's a key for five hundred thousand. i'm like okay but the going price right now is a million so mm-hmm. we would buy that five hundred thousand key put Was it back it voice, out for a voice chat no uh yes but i didn't use it because right like I was already like in a because it was one of those things. Where I was like already in a at the time Skype Skype call with my yeah, buddies. Yeah, so yeah. it's like I don't want to be double voicing. And... Dude, there's um I saw on TikTok some dudes making like five k a week, balling out of control. And you know what he does? He literally goes into like the multiverse or whatever the game is. That's it's like the multiverse or whatever. And he just he strips for people. But he's like, it's like the role playing shit, bro. He's just like, oh, is it like VR chat or some shit? Yeah, yeah. And he, dude, there's he's some making... crazy people that get into that, man. Bro, did he's you ever making see the bank? Just did you ever see the working. Kermit on the the pole, the stripper pole? Yeah. And it's like an actual guy who has a stripper pole in his room, and, and he's like he's tipped. actually dancing on the stripper pole in his room, which translates perfectly to the VR or some Insane, shit, man. And I'm over here like. Hey man, you, you get, know what? Get your money up get, and whatever dude, yeah, means get your money necessary. Up. I mean, <laughs> like, I it's funny. I actually used to when I was spending that much, I was yeah. still actually getting back money. Yeah. Because you can, you know, convert out and stuff like that. So like, you know, I had so many keys. Like I was yeah. sitting on them and I would sell them sometimes, get my money up, convert it out. Like yeah. and so it's like I was getting some money. I was definitely spending more than I was getting, but Dude, I mean, it's, it was it's, just fun. What a funny world to live in where like there's obviously so much shit going wrong with the world, but to be able to have a conversation about like, well, what's your job? It's like, well, I'm a stripper. Oh, that's awesome. Like, you know, support sex work, of course, in a video game. Oh, Whoa. Okay. That's, that's that's a throws it, that throws something into the pot that's different. That's, that's different, yeah. It's a conversation piece. Well, what do you do for a living? Well, I role play as Kermit stripping, stripping on, a, on pole. a pole. Yeah. 2022, baby. And, and, I mean, and they're balling. And that's what's so funny is it's like if you're making, you know, if you're making like a minimum wage, it's like, oh, whatever. No, but like 5000 That's what's fucked like, up is the fact that right now there's someone working at Kmart. Well, Kmart might be a little bit long gone, but there's someone working Kohl's. at Jewel Kohl's right now folding shirts, making 10 bucks an hour. Yeah. They could just get be, on that Kermit shit, bro. They could, yeah. They could just be 
stripping in a virtual reality chat and yeah. making you got to put down that pride and just go fucking get out there and i mean you could also be put proud your of best it, kermit foot forward i mean know? i saw that dude like like the like his end live stream like motherfuckers putting some effort and he could yeah. be proud of that shit yeah you got to work your ass off bro you got to work for that money that's not just like they're oh my guys I, I do this on the side you know it's they're like, not paying you for nothing bro you gotta no yeah i mean my buddy used to make money off wow he would he would yeah. he would <clears throat> he was so good at the pvp he would just carry people in the arenas right right so right. he would like get in with two other guys and then he'd basically just do all the work and like yeah. 1v3 the other team and then yeah. these guys would just be over here like sending them gold the entire time being like yeah. that was such a cool move can you teach me to do that like sending them gold and there's shit. so many like inner you know economies of games that no one thinks about like i had a buddy in uh in grade school that was slanging uh runescape items oh yeah bro you dude just... was making five he'd be like yeah i just made 500 bucks because i sold this crown on runescape and i'm like 500 dollars what does that mean <laughs> like, yeah that's like a lot. what like in fifth grade, five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. So like there's more than like bucks there's or? more than twenty dollars. Like you know, right? Like, this, the, I it thought, goes past a hundred with the what? Five hundred. That's that's a hundred five times. That that is for that's, RuneScape. For RuneScape. For a crown. Uh, it, dude, for it like, changed. Yeah. It changed my whole perception of like who like gaming and like and, and like who I should be like clowning. You know, because I'd be like, Wow, Martin. His name was Martin. He'd be like. I'd be like, wow, Martin, you're on fucking RuneScape again all day. And he's like, yeah, man, but I just made I more still than your play mom RuneScape. does. <laughs> Dude, I know people that still make, I mean, still play. Yeah. Well, they got the, they released the old version because yeah. they had that new one, which is pretty cool, but they like released the RuneScape classic shit. Like, yeah. So I'm all about it. I like to walk around going 500, 500 gold for girlfriend. Well, they got fun. that. They got that. That just re- really, really quick. That just reminded me of Club Penguin. Oh my God. Club Penguin. I remember Dude. that shit. I had bitches in Club Penguin. I used to be a Five moderator or six for Club Penguin. You had a you were a moderator. Yeah, I remember. I remember just going in there and trying to trip up the moderating system. Oh yeah, because it wouldn't let you send certain yeah. things. I'd be and... like, okay, poop. If you like, that would let you. Be like, okay, crap. If you like, okay, that let you. And I'd be like, shit. And then it wouldn't let you. It would say something else too. It would, it would like, turn replace... orange, and it'd be like, yeah, it would. It would just bl- or it would like blur it out with like asterisks or something. No, no, it it um it actually replaced the words. Oh, okay. I don't remember that. Well, uh, I think it depends on your settings because like you could have a setting where it, it puts the asterisks, and then yeah. like for like super limited kid accounts, it'll just replace it with like a kid friendly word, so they can't look at it and go, "Well, what's that?" You know what Dude, I mean? do you remember having like igloo parties and shit? Just in oh yeah, yeah, going going to the you know. You go down to the disco and be like, yo, like I'm yeah. having a party. I'm having a, I'm at, yeah, you guys want to come to my place? It's better than this. Yeah, it's so cool. And then like they had that that was a flex because like you had like seven puffles or whatever they're called. Oh yeah, the puffles, yeah. Maybe like, just yo, check them. this out. That's that shit's so wild to think about. Like that's the type of shit where like people that are like forty and up, you tell them about that shit and they don't understand. Back no, when I my, was young, I was taking I was I was going to the bars and actually interacting. Like, dude, I was on Club Penguin piping bitches, man. <laughs> in Come a di- on. In a Disney game. In a Disney game, bro. I was out here with six, seven girlfriends. I was out here doing some... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the fucking dance. That's that all it was. And then you'd go to the club. You'd go to, like, the club and there'd be, like, five different beats. And you could, it would be, like, the most... It would be, like, boom, yeah. Boom, 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 yeah. Boom, yeah, and you were just like, "Oh, this boom, is the jam." Boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, you were like, "I I know this one." It's like yeah. Yeah, everyone does. It plays on loop songs. for like yeah. a week. Or like the fishing game, stacking oh, crazy dude, fish. Come on, the fucking fishing game. The the cart game was my favorite. Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that yeah, was the, the like, best the, one. The, the like left, right, or jump or yeah. some shit. Like that was that. Or, and even like ducking, like that reaction time. Going mm. to the cafe and playing the c- catching the bags. Oh yeah, and then Moncala was on there. That that's yeah. actually when I first discovered what Moncala was. And because of that, I even bought like my own Moncala set and would okay. like, play it all the time. Like that's how I knew if I, if I was really like, if I really fucked with someone, I'd be like, yo, let's go, let's go to the cafe and like hang out. Cause it's like, it was more chill, you know, it yeah. wasn't a one night stand. It was like, I wanted to, I wanted to get to know this person. So I take him to the cafe. We'd hang out. Do you remember <laughs> when they introduced like the, uh, what was it? Like the, the, like, like it was like rock, paper, scissors, but you had like the cards like the trading cards or some shit, remember? And it was like, yeah, doing like yeah. penguin battles and you'd pick a card. Oh, at the and dojo, pick right? A card. Was it the yeah, dojo? Yeah, the dojo. Yep. And like, that was like a big thing then when that came out was everyone was like, oh, look, I'm a black belt. Or like, they yeah. try to like just level up. And yeah. like, man. I was just like, man, that was, 
Why did they can that game? Why did they get rid I of it? You know what? I don't I I think I've like... ever looked into it. I know Disney took it over and it was still going. Yeah. And then, and remember we looked into it and like someone was making a fake like one a, and then they got that guy. They yeah. Got they got that dude, one. That, Cause Disney owns it. They got DCMA it out of existence. Right. But like, how dare you? Yeah. They like came uh-huh. down with a. St- I'm coming for your ass. <laughs> <laughs> like Mickey Mouse Make kicked a damn in their door. Me. <laughs> yeah, Mickey Mouse like kicked in their door and killed them or some shit. Yeah. But no, like, yeah, because remember we looked into that and then it was no, like. Oh, Mickey, no. Yeah. I'm taking your blood. Your firstborn son. Come here. <laughs> I can't. I like. Okay. Anyways. Uh, yeah. But no, it was like, <laughs> I don't know why the original one went down. I think it was something about like, honestly, I think it just fell off. Dude, they probably weren't making money on it because like, where's the, where do you make money from that? ads on the website like come on yeah you can't, there's no there was no currency there, well, oh, there I guess subscriptions subscriptions but then you couldn't really like there wasn't much like can no because you, you couldn't like, buy like extra gold or anything it was just like subscriptions and then the thing was the games the ds games remember i don't i never played the ds games no but you remember they made them yeah they made two ds games and that's where they got that was once disney took them over i think and that's where they got a bunch of extra money yeah was from those because then they put in shit where it was like Oh, if you if you own the DS game, you get these cool items in game and yeah. shit. So people would be like, "Mom, I want the DS game so I can have a, a, a an elite penguin force whatever." Yeah. Or, you know? dude, how how much do you think the people sold it? Like whoever owned it sold it to Disney for? <sighs> dude, I don't remember. I remember it was on Mini Clip. Mm-hmm. That's where you play. That's it. where it started. That, that started on Mini Humble Beginnings of Mini Clips. Yeah, and you would just play it there, and mm-hmm. then it got its own website. Yeah. Upgraded and, and like, did it get its own launcher? I don't remember. Or no, it was just always a website, right? No, I think you were able to download it. Like, I think I don't know. I always just played it on the browser. Yeah, I always did too. And then and then they got the DS games. And yeah. I I'm thinking, dude, like, the problem was there was still other games that were coming out kind of like that at the time. And uh-huh. I I think it just fell, fell off. off. And then didn't Disney didn't Disney have another game that was like that or something? Was Toontown Disney or? Toontown. Wow. I never played Toontown, but I just remember it in talks. I remember people Oh, yeah. My it. friend played that all the time. Yeah. That, but there, there was like so many other games coming out like it. I feel mm-hmm. like maybe they just lost enough of a base that it was like, is, it, it, is it really sustainable? It. You know? Disney has so much money that they're probably like, fuck it. It's not <clears> making <throat> us a fuckload of money. Then I don't want it. Right, Closer. because it's like if you got like a couple hundred people still playing, but yeah. you're paying a couple hundred dollars to keep these online servers up, it's like, yeah. it's a dollar a person viable. Yeah. And that's why I was when I saw that rework and it was like, it's going to be completely free. We're going to pay out of pocket. It's all nonprofit. I was like, oh. That shit can't last. I was like, Disney can't shut this down though. Like, come on. Yeah. And then, of course, you Mickey, know, Mickey busted in. kicked hey! in the door with a cease and desist letter. And it was like in Mickey and Goofy. Yeah. And <laughs> Yeah. We're going to yeah. kick your ass. We're gonna, that's, not, that's not bad. Maxie. Yeah. Maxie. Gorsh. Gorsh. Yeah. We were just watching the Goofy movie this morning. Goofy ass movie. I remember that shit. Yeah. We were watching the first one. Because there's like a second one where he's like in college or some shit. Like Maxie's in college. Mm-hmm. But I we I just remember the first one. Cause... You're going to watch that Hocus Pocus 2 shit? Probably. I think it's already out. Is it? Oh, they, I, don't I don't. I don't know how they did this. I don't know if they're keeping these ladies alive with 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 uh, with manic like with uh, puppeteer. Probably, probably CGI at this point, uh, uh, dude. They look exactly the same. But it's got to be like a CGI at this point. Like they made them look younger. They look yeah. great. I mean, because well, that's like in, um, physically and 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 like I'm not bringing it up, huh? <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. What's up? If you if you think you might if you, if you think you're like you shouldn't bring it up. So in Star Wars, oh god, because you just mentioned, but well, it's funny gotta, because like, yeah, just just you know, spare sp- <laughs> just spare me. Don't don't give me a fucking forty five minute Star do you, Wars. Do you, I lecture, mean, okay, because but... like, so there's an old guy that was in the original three movies. Okay, he's dead. Palpatine. No, well, his actor too, but okay. no. Because I know uh, they did that with Leia. Yeah, well, like Grand Moff or whatever I think his name was. I mean, it was it was the guy that was like Vader's choking the dude out. He's all like Grand, Vader, enough. Grand you know? Moffka. I don't know whatever the hell. Grand Moffka. Yeah, I don't know how to say it. Whatever. The Grand Moffka. Anyways, so there's a guy that's all like Vader. That's enough. And he was like this yeah. old guy with like a, a General Tarkin. I think his name is. Okay. And so he's in Rogue One, one of the shows he's in. Okay. But they just had like another actor stand in and they like CGI grafted that dude's face. That shit looked good it. though? Yeah. No, it looked perfect. I thought the Princess Leia shit looked pretty fire. 
No, yeah, like it, it, it and it's funny because I know it's like we always talk about Star Wars. I'm starting to give a problem. It's like, yes, but the problem is <laughs> Did I say that? Yeah, the last episode when you were like, you keep bringing up Star Wars. Can you just not do that? Stop anymore? with the fucking Star Wars now. The problem is it's such a big property that Disney does like all of its like almost proving grounds on it. Yeah. So it's like, you know, you're over here like, I don't know how they did it with this. It's like, well, they figured out we could do it by Star Wars. And I can't pick another movie because that was yeah. like the movie they did it in. Yeah. No, it's just, it, I think what's funny is that it's like anything you could relate to. Like, that reminds me of Star Wars. Well, no, it's because every time you bring up something Marvel related, that's Disney. Star Wars. Anytime you bring up a Disney movie, that's Disney. Star Wars. Well, because... we are just living in a, in a, in a Disney. Yeah. It's, we're all just living we're in a Disney We're all actually in Disney Plus. Literally. We're all just like on our own show. It's You're going like to have some... to like pay to exist soon. Yeah. Well, we do. We do. What do you mean Fuck. soon? <laughs> pay to breathe? Do we pay kind to of, breathe yet? Kind of. Right. Because like you, some places are more toxic. Right. You know. The I, air quality is bad. Y- yeah. And you know what? I got to say, it makes me feel really uncomfortable when I go on my phone weather app and it says that the air is like not as toxic today. You ever get that? Have you ever seen that? Yes. It's like air quality is pretty good today. I'm like, oh, great. I was like, wow, I'm not going to die from breathing it? Yeah, sweet. Oh, man. And then sometimes you're like, yeah, the air is not looking too good today, boss. You might as well stay yeah, inside. Yeah, air's, air's pretty not looking hot. There's some toxins. Ugh. That air is more toxic than my ex. Don't go out there. <laughs> yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't, it makes me feel a little uncomfortable because I don't know. it's rem- like, what are you going to do about that? Well, I don't remember... Uh, that back in the day i don't remember going on my weather app and it's saying like hold so on they, stay they inside never, they never did the air quality reports like right in the the weather app and shit but, but like has it always been li- like this yeah they've always done air doomed? quality reports okay so i mean obviously it was better like back in the 90s because we didn't have as much problem with like co2 emissions yeah but, like they've always done it because that's like how they tell like pollen levels is they check okay. the air quality and that's how they could see like pollen concentration yeah. and like everything like that. Got so, me like holding my breath when I go to get something out of my car. Yeah. Like, <gasps> well, the problem is now it's like you go into any weather app and there's always an air quality report. And it's yeah. like back in the day, I remember my dad would be watching like the weather channel, like uh-huh. every everyone's parents did when they first woke up at six in the morning to go to school. Your parents are sitting there with the news or the weather channel on. My dad it's was like watching dark room. My dad was watching Maury at the loudest volume possible oh that too that was and i would one. i would wake up to a full-blown chaotic like argument between two people and i and like on tv like, are they fighting and then you go downstairs and it's just like these two people like, he's the father no he ain't the father Dude, it says you are the father, the father. oh shit and i, and that shit was was screaming and I shit. fucked with maury crazy yeah you, fuck Do you ever with, think that you... shit was like fake yeah it's gotta be come on like it's gotta be tv I think it was fake, but like, I don't want to believe it was fake, but I think it had to have been because the, some well, of the situations. I, I feel like what it is, I feel like it worked like Jerry Springer. So Jerry Springer, people would like. I never really got into Jerry Springer. Yeah, but the way it works is like you'd call. Yeah. Because like at the end of the show, it'd be like, do you have a dysfunctional family member yep. you want to bring on our show? Give us a call. Right. Like, so you'd call and you'd tell them your story and then like some TV producer would be like. Yeah, I yeah, think we that would give that. us some ratings. Right. Sure. But then they, they beef it up, right? Like, yeah, they, 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 they wasn't always like, because that's like the family guy made the joke about that. It's like, I'm not actually a man. I'm a horse. I'm not mm. actually a horse. I'm a broom. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like the most outrageous shit. <laughs> yeah, because it's like some of it would. And it's funny because I noticed and I was young, so it's hard to remember. But like, I remember some episodes where like. I could understand this situation. And yeah. then other episodes were like, who's snorting the bath salts here? Yeah. yeah. Like, I feel like they mixed it in. Yeah. Like they would. I like, think Dr. Phil's fake too, bro. I think all that shit might be fake. No, what it is, it's just really, they tell them, hey, when you get on the show, by the way, like, I mean, because think about it. How many people can there actually be out there where Jerry has to walk away and the big security dude's got to walk up and they're throwing chairs and <laughs> you shit. You like, remember, uh, I don't know which Austin Powers movie it was, but when they had like. Do- it was Dr. Evil and his son on Jerry. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I think it was Jerry Springer, actually. It was one of them, but yeah. And, yeah. Um, <laughs> do you remember that shit, yeah. dude? That was funny as hell. Yeah, I forgot, no, like, I... what was happening, but it was, like, he's he, like, comes on. He's, like, yeah. Scott's just, like, um, my father is uh, evil. And yeah, he's, he he's evil. Yeah. That shit was funny. I was it? I feel like, was Great it movies. actually Jerry Springer, or did they just do, like, a rip-off No, no, show? it was Jerry Springer, because that's, yeah. like, what... 
that's what made like i feel like when movies did that shit when they would incorporate real life elements of our universe that we yeah, like it made like, it feel holy more fuck. like Whoa. that's why i loved the scary movies like when you would see like random celebrity cameos like playing themselves like i just watched um holy cow you're this person do you remember uh this is the end did you ever watch that movie you're not gonna like my answer it's on my list oh man is it really on your list though? no but it could be if you want it it's to. on my list now no yeah, now it's on my list it's um you never seen this is the end I, maybe though like because i don't really sometimes i catch okay. a movie when it's just streaming or someone else is watching it seth rogan jonah hill um michael Sarah. Like, okay so you've listed like 20 comedy movies in the beginning of the 2010s but the, so it was 2013 it was um God, it was close Je- uh sh- Craig Daniels, uh, Danny, an Danny McBride, like Craig Daniels, really? Yeah, it oh. was, dude. It was, it was. You don't remember this movie? You never saw it? Oh man, you should put. If you I have a list, have put it at the top it, of it though, because that all sounds familiar. But like I said, it's the an apocalyptic is... movie where like it's a bunch of celebrities playing themselves, and the, it, the, they're in L.A. They're at James Franco's house. I forgot to mention he's in it. James Franco's house. They're having this big party, and all of a sudden, like there's an alien invasion that happens. And there's like sinkholes all around the city. And the, why the, does it sound like the plot to Saints Row Four? <laughs> it's kind of like that. And then like everyone starts dying, and um, then they're like left to like fight for their lives. You never seen it? It's so funny. Dude. It sounds so familiar. Channing I feel like I've it. seen like clips maybe of it or some shit. And I don't. If even... it's like funny, it probably was like shit I've seen. Like people being like, ah, oh, or sending, you know. Yeah. Like... No, I think if you've like the ending is like they're in heaven and it's fucking. Uh, everybody like backstreet boys are like backstreet boys makes a cameo of course that like in <laughs> that was when they were doing their wasn't 2013 that have been like their backstreet's back tour i think when they got together and then broke up again yeah or whatever so they was, did and i don't even right now talking about it, i don't even remember why i brought it up but it's a good movie so everyone you listening brought it up because it we were talking about something Star Wars. Let's talk about Star Wars. No, that your your uh, Star Wars clock. You've got is a ended. problem. You need Actually, to stop. This would be a good time to segue to our guest segment. Would it? Yeah. Yeah, we got right. um, we got. I do it for laughs. Is going to be on. He's hilarious. He's um, he's a good dude and he's funny. And we're going to cut to that right now. So, without further ado, I do it for laughs. All right. So today we're here with I do it for laughs, aka Josh. How you doing today, man? Great. How you doing? I'm good, man. We're chilling. We're chilling. Um, so I have a, I have some questions for you. I just want to say your TikToks are hilarious. Um, love every one of them. Thanks. Um, Appreciate so it. We're, yeah, of course. We're going to start off with what was your first viral video? Like the first one that you remember really like stuck out and like blew your account up a little bit. Uh, I was duetting this person on TikTok. Uh, goes by the name of Punker IRL. And it was just kind of like, like a random thing. I just mm. basically mimic, mimicked everything they did on their video as a duet. Oh, okay. Okay. And it just kind of blew up from there. Do you remember what year that was? Like, was this before or after COVID? Oh, God. That was before. That's how I, that's how I gauge things now. It's like before or after right. COVID with TikTok. <laughs> right, so, yeah. So that was before COVID? So like 20, it was yeah. like 2019? 2019, yeah. Okay. And like, that was like when you noticed, like, you started, did you start gaining like a shitload of followers from that? A pretty good amount uh, yeah yeah cool yeah i um i i don't think i've seen any of those i think i have to i'm gonna have to like deep dive and look back at them yeah you have to go deep you know, into it i might i might have seen them i don't know but okay so that like leads right into our second one which is so we've had a couple of guests on here and we always kind of ask like what's like the process you go through to like come up with ideas for your videos because obviously you post a lot um do you do you sit down and like think of them? Do they just like come to you naturally? Like what what process do you go through for ideas? Every video I've ever made that actually did good was yeah. a random two right. minute thinking thing. It was just kind of like I can just, do that or right. yeah, like just on the spot, it was just totally random, right? Yeah, yeah. I I feel like that's a common. A common thing because i feel like the ones that you overthink are the ones that never really perform well in the first place exactly like it's al- any video it's that always... i've ever thought about was didn't do very well yeah yeah was there was there a specific video you could remember you thought was going to blow and just didn't um I, I did one back 
I don't know if you guys remember, but it was when the whole guy was doing the mafia thing. Mm. I don't know. It may have been 2019. Was it like the, the black? You're talking about like the black and white videos? Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember those. And, uh, I kind of did one with uh, one of my daughters, and it literally mm. went nowhere. And I just it, – it was something that took me all day to edit, you know. Yeah, those are the those are the worst. But then you make one that's like takes two seconds and it blows up, and it two like almost seconds. makes exactly. it almost makes up for the all the flops. Yeah, I, TikTok right. TikTok is so weird with their algorithm, man. It's insane. It's the way right. they decide what blows. Um, okay, so the big question that I have, like the one I'm most excited for, is the twerking. Okay, we have to talk about the twerking, right? Everybody loves it. Yeah. <laughs> How did you come up with this like idea to like just twerk on the camera? Like what, where did this come from? I literally don't even remember what <laughs> video I first did it on, but I was like, I think I just did it. And I looked at the camera and I was like, Oh shit, that looks great. <laughs> so I just kind of <laughs> went from there. I didn't even know I could do anything like that. You know, do you it's actually pretty easy? So, because from your perspective, obviously, I I wonder, like, do you think about what people must think when they see it? Like, like, oh yeah, all the time. <laughs> I mean, I've I've had people at my job be like, bro, I found your videos. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, you know, I just kind of th- play it off. But do uh, uh oh, so that's interesting because I was gonna say like, what you know, people like your family, your friends must think of it. So people at your job are they like? Are they into it or are they kind of thrown off and confused? At first, they're kind of thrown off and confused if they if they find it. I mean, I don't tell them anything. But then, <laughs> you keep it, you keep you it know, on the they, down low? Right. But then they say <laughs> a couple of words and they ask me about it. And then that's really all I hear about it. And we talked about a little bit of this off uh, camera. Are you are you in like the position of sales or do you? Yeah, I sell uh, 18 wheeler parts. Do you ever get any customers that notice you from TikTok? The customers, no. Uh-uh. No? Uh, every now and then I'll have somebody just random if I'm out and about say, hey, man, I've seen you on TikTok. But other than that. Okay. No. Like you get, do you get noticed quite a bit or is it pretty chill? Every once in a while. It's pretty chill. I guess. Yeah. Okay. It, yeah. I mean, maybe but, five times since I started this, somebody said something to me about it. Yeah. Um, so, okay. So with work, you say people are kind of thrown off by it. How is your, um, how do your family and friends kind of think of your TikTok stuff? Do they love it? Do they, are they also like thrown off by it? My wife really doesn't pay attention. I'm married. I've been married 21 years. Uh, she, she really don't. Does she know that she's married to a, does she know that she's married to a TikTok (laughs) legend? Like, yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, she knows what I do, but she doesn't really pay attention. Now, my kids, on the other hand, uh, my older ones, uh, they kind of like just kind of play it off. If somebody says, hey, man, I've seen your dad on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. But then I have uh, twins that are 13 and uh, they just they just think it's the coolest thing ever. Oh, I bet. Yeah. that They probably flex that at school all the time, I'm sure. <laughs> all the time. Yeah, no, that's that's funny. I um, that's a question I get like mixed answers from because some people say that their family's super supportive, you know. Some people say that they uh, they're weirded out by it. It just depends on the content, I guess, or what right. you know. What I'm saying so. That's good that it's good to have a support system with that. Like even if oh yeah, even they, if yeah, they know what I do and they don't really care. They just let me do yeah. whatever. Yeah, well, they should think that it's amazing. They should think it's hilarious. I think that <clears throat> like literally being able to flex that your dad is like a viral like TikTok star has to be the funniest thing for a kid to do. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. I can only imagine. Um, but okay. So my last question is, do you have any plans for the future? I know we talked a little bit like you might want to go into YouTube. Is that something you're trying to do? Like what what is the future for I do it for laughs you think for on the internet? Honestly, I would like to not have to work a nine to five job. Absolutely. Uh, Under totally understandable. You know, right. Do something, you know, on social media that that actually pays the bills, but you know, right, it doesn't right. pay the bills at this point. So I think that's, you know, that's an interesting that's like thing, thing right. to, to bring up because I feel like a lot of people, like almost 
mo- like most people that watch TikToks, I think they think that every TikToker, if they're getting millions of views, must be making money from it. But I think oh, it's yeah, interesting like, to bring up that it's it's not the case. Right. People that I've seen in public or people that know me that know I'm on there. I mean, they're like, oh, dude, do you make any money? And I'm like, from TikTok? No. Yeah. Like, the the right, creative right. front is, is, is really a joke. but yeah. It is, yeah. We've it we've had multiple people say that it's it's like pennies. It doesn't that, that, That's like the, the going yeah. thing when people are on the show is it's always, yeah, it's awful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I well, mean, I've, I've made more money off of Instagram with the little bit of followers I have on Instagram than I did, right. ever did on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, then, yeah. I mean, what type of content would you want to do on YouTube? Do you have an idea for that, or is it st- are you still kind of trying to plot it out? Still kind of trying to plot it out. I thought of like doing video reviews with either yeah. me or and one of my kids, or me and you know, I know a lot of people that are, you know, of the nineteen to thirty five year old range, and yeah, just kind of review videos and have like my perspective on things as far as theirs. But you yeah, know, I had the humor of basically you guys, so. Yeah, absolutely. I think there's a lot of stuff I think is funny that uh, people my age don't think is funny. Right, exactly. I think that's the the big um the big pull with your TikTok. I'm guessing that why people follow you is they they probably think it's so bizarre that like it, it and it's weird. It's 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 like a weird thing to think, but like the fact that your humor is is of like the Gen Z like age, um, I think is like it throws people off. It threw me off. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, when I like <laughs> seeing that you, cause you must, so I guess my last question would be like, do you find yourself as a TikTok creator? Are you on TikTok a lot? Like as a consumer, like oh, watching yeah. videos? I mean, at least four to five times a day. I'm scrolling right. through TikTok trying to, cause like that's know, how you, something that's funny or whatever, you know? Right. Cause I feel like that's a big uh, a big point of like, if you're a TikToker, you have to be on TikTok because the whole premise oh, yeah. is for, for you, like finding the videos that you could do at. Right. Right. And like, a lot of times it's like finding a sound, you know, that, right. that I could do something with. Right. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, man. Um, I think that's, that's all I got for you. I appreciate you jumping on. Um, is there anything else you want to add to the viewers to say? No, I uh, appreciate <laughs> everybody that gives me a follow and, Thank you guys for yeah. having me. Absolutely, man. All right. Well, we, uh, we're going to end it there, but thank you so much for jumping on, Josh. Appreciate it. Thank Peace. You guys. All right. Have a good one. Peace. And we're back. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, he's a funny dude. Check him out on TikTok. I do it for laughs, AKA Josh. Um, man, can he twerk, huh? Yeah, that's, it's insane. <laughs> you would think like this guy can't twerk, but he twerks. This guy twerks. Yeah. It's like, it's like when you go to a party uh-huh. and there's like the the whatever, like the the unsuspecting person that could do that thing. Yeah, you know what and I mean. And you then ever they been do like, that thing. Yeah, and it's like a house party, and then like you find out out of nowhere, like mm-hmm. someone's like, "Oh, didn't you know Brad can like twerk? Like, yeah, <laughs> Brad can twerk." It's like, what? What? Brad, do it right now. Twerk for me. I want to yeah. see, man. He's like, "Nah, bro, come nah, on. We're man. at a party. It's come like, on. come on, dude. I want to see you twerk. Like, you know." Like, <laughs> yeah. Turns out Brad could twerk. Turns out Brad could twerk. Yeah, I don't um, know where he learned it, but he learned it. Dude, I went to um, Office Max the other day. That's when I was yeah, trying to get yeah, a discount. Because right. you, you wanted tape. Yeah, I wanted some tape. I got I had to hang up some stuff. Because, um, you know, the landlord special, I can't put a hole in a wall, or God forbid. Um, so I got some, like, mounting tape and shit. And uh, Office Max is a literal ghost town, if you haven't heard. The only yeah. people in there are, are the you, workers. Are the, and that's, sometimes they're not even there. Yeah. We go to the one by us and there's like one person at the register and like a person in the print section and that's it. Yeah. So what, uh, what's, what's the deal with that? Who the fuck goes to office max anymore? How is it? Like, Amazon. Are they, are they like hanging on by a thread? Are they like companies? Making companies? Well, that's the same thing I gave you was the, the, so is the, the store brick and, purchasing account is the brick and mortar stores a tax write off at this point? Because I'm, I'm telling you, nobody was in there and it was 2 PM on a Tuesday. You know what well, I mean? they were all at work. <laughs> the well, people like, that frequent office maxes are, tend to, you know, working. go to offices to work. Right, right. I'm unemployed, so I wouldn't. Right, know. <laughs> you're all in there at like 2 p.m. Like, whoa, this place is dead, dead man. But well, like, remember we went to the one I'll where tell you we were what. doing creative space shit, and there yeah. was there was a few people in there, and that was at like seven. Yeah, there was like three people. Yeah, there was like three instead of one. It was yeah. crazy. Look, no, that's dude. a good turnout at an office max. 
I don't know what's going to happen to what's the future of office. Well, because okay, like? so a lot of their purchasing right is like like companies have a store purchasing account, and yeah. then from that account they get like the discounted wholesale prices of shit. So like pens, whatever. So they ring up like an office max and they're like, Hey, this is our store purchasing. So they're number. getting bulk put shit. In. Yeah. So like people will buy, like a lot of companies just buy like all their paper, all their shit, like from office supply companies. Right. Because they get that better discount because okay. the company writes it off as taxes and then office max writes it off as taxes and there's some backdoor handshaking, whatever. Yeah. 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 But so the thing is, like, you're not going to see, like, a lot of those places. I remember even, like, dude, like, back in the day, like, when I was in college and I had to go to Office Max to get, like, my back-to-college list of, like, get some pens and some paper. And, like, yeah, there yeah, was yeah, nobody yeah. in there. Nobody. Because it's like, no, the the, the brick-and-mortar stores are for, like, you know, I, I'm going to go in here and, you know, get some printer ink because I don't want to wait one day for Amazon. Which, I mean. Have you heard about, like, the whole thing about how people think I, like, mattress uh, mattress firms are like a like a front for like a drug lord i believe it but have you ever heard that i've never heard it but i'd believe it okay so they're called mattress firms right the the places that, they're the mattress store it's a mattress company they, they yeah. have the thing is there's so many mattress stores now that like, i can't even keep i can't even keep track. okay so if you go to any mattress store you'll never see anyone in there but they have them everywhere if you yeah. literally look anywhere, you see them. So people think that it's like a front for like a, some like like drug laundering thing, which right. is hilarious because that'd be a great place to do it. Yeah. I It'd mean, be insane if you like went to one of those places and just like opened a mattress and there was just bricks of cocaine. <laughs> well, you did you ever ever have you actually been? Wa- I don't remember we talked about. Have you actually been watching Good Girls, or did you just know of it? No, I've never seen it. Not okay. even once. You just, but you just knew of it because I was the Mrs. Sue was watching that one day. Yeah. Well, so the guy that played Shaggy's in there, which I swear to God, I'm just waiting for the like the day they give in and let him be all like zoinks, they, like when something happens. Like he, how, how they're you, not going to do that because Matthew Lillard is actually a uh, a national treasure and the dude has been in so many things that like you when you think of him you think of Scooby. Sorry, you think of Sick, you think of Shaggy. But the dude was in He's been in a lot, but Salt I don't Lake know Salt Lake City like, Punk. I just I he feel was, like his um, face. He was um he was Shaggy. Did I mention that? Yeah, right. He was in so many <laughs> things like I, Shaggy. I, I can't think of the other one, but um oh, he was in a Scream movie. Yeah. Well, the, the biggest thing about it is I think it's because like in that movie he kind of plays this like like uh goofy ass dude eh, or he's serious he's not goofy he's serious but he's like so he's with his his the the wife who's the uh-huh. main one from the the three girls for the the drug ring or whatever and yeah and like he he, he starts as like this really shitty person and then he kind of gets more likable and tries yeah. but he has this like very almost like dopey demeanor because like he'll like just kind of bumble around or whatever. Like he always. You just want him to break like, into the Shaggy character. I just want, yeah, I want it to happen. I want him like, I want her to come downstairs in the middle of the night. She hears a noise and she thinks like the drug lord breaking into her house, yeah. and then she just sees him with like a sandwich that's this tall. Like, <laughs> like, like Snoop, yeah. we got a sandwich. You it, know, like it's um, it's actually you know I'm surprised that they haven't done some type some type of like like um, call to that or something like even if he was just watching like um, like Scooby Doo they they did had a whole thing where like the kids were watching some Saturday morning cartoons but it wasn't they could have done it they could have yeah. they could have had because it wasn't even it was just the audio maybe like, he's sick of it had. probably dude but like you know? it was crazy because I kept looking at him and I was like Shaggy and I was like I don't know, why do I know your face and I couldn't figure out why I knew his face because he's just. It's crazy because, like, if you look at a picture of him, yeah, recent online, he does not look that old. But like in huh. this show, they do some shit that he just looks like this fucking like beat out, like so done with life, fifty year old dad somehow. Yeah, like because you know they do wonders with that shit, right? And right. you know the haircut and the comb over and like yeah. some graying, like in the you know and yeah. But it's just crazy. It's so but, different than like the Shaggy character, like yeah. aesthetically. Yeah, he has to fucking go Super Saiyan though. That's yeah. how he gets his hair back. Right. No, but so like anyways, the point was they actually do this whole thing where they're they're washing money for this drug lord. Uh-huh. And that's kind of the premise of the show. And so they start by doing the whole like buy it and then return it at another store thing, you know? Yeah. Like so they buy small purchases with the fake cash, return right. it at another store. Then they start doing uh they want to start moving more and they start doing uh they tried doing cars. Uh huh. So they would buy the cars with dirty money from the wherever, and then just sell a car because it's all profit. Yep. Um, and then it was funny because they brought up cars are too hot. That's mm-hmm. such a 
common practice. Yeah. Uh, so the wife goes, what about hot tubs? Mm. And then it was funny because like they, they tried doing that. They tried and that was what she was saying was like, you know, do whatever you can. Get as many hot tubs as you can. Buy them as high as you have to, as low as you have to. It does not matter. It is yeah. all profit. Right. But it's just funny because you bring up mattress stores and then I think about it and it's, I'm like spa genius. stores too. Like how many times do you go into a spa store and it's just packed with people like, you know, like a pool store just like crammed with people like I want a, I want a pool. I want a spa. It's like yeah. it's so empty. It's like you just like that. that's what you do. I'm pretty sure they're doing that right now at mattress firms. I'm telling you, if you go any day of the week, doesn't matter. Dude, I don't want to go to a mattress firm. Like that's well, the other yeah. thing. Who wants to go? Because if like, it's not actually like a front, then you're really just in a mattress store that is a mattress store. And it's like, why are and you? And it's here? less exciting. Yeah. And the guy is gonna sell you. He's gonna try to sell you right away because you're probably the first and last person of the day. It's just like, crazy. It's like yeah. I don't know, man. Like I just fuck. I can't even figure it out because I paid like um for the king size bed I had. Mm-hmm. That's like the full memory foam and everything. I paid like 900 bucks, mm. which is actually a good price. Yeah, it's not bad. But then there's this other bed I got way back. Yeah. And it was like a split like foam, but spring. And it was like fancy with a cushion top. I had yeah. to put that shit on like a payment plan. Yeah. It was like $3,000. And that's when I never bought from a mattress store again in my life. No, hell no. I went to Puffy. I go to... Amazon, uh, dude. Well... See, the thing is, Amazon's great, but the problem is I don't want a knockoff bed. Dude, I bought my mattress for $19. <laughs> it's actually just a yoga mat. No, seriously. I bought my shit for dirt cheap. And like, no, it's not yeah. The most, it's not the most comfortable mattress, but it's comfortable. Let me let me, let me, let me tell you. The, the thing is, though, like, we got enough, like, it's funny, got enough YouTubers that uh-huh. are over here like, use my code at Puffy, use my code at Purple and save however. That's how I actually got that mattress cheap. I was yeah. watching a YouTuber. He's like, yeah, put in this code and you get, you know. 25% off and I was like well 25% off of a thousand dollar bed is $250 off so totally yeah I just fucking did that and yeah. it's like I don't know my, my my mattress now is from Amazon yeah remember because we when we moved here remember it like showed up yeah it's it, a way to do it bro it's mid-tier it's it's like Look. I can tell if I would have just instead of buying it for 119 bucks on Amazon <laughs> if I'd have bought it for like 250 yeah. from like puffy or purple i mean don't get me wrong i wake up in excruciating pain every morning <laughs> but i spent 15 dollars, bro it was the amazon's <laughs> choice for yeah. my back to hurt <laughs> yeah exactly like if amazon said it i'm doing it bro fuck that fuck you mean i'm I, I know. bed frames getting bed frames on amazon that's yeah. saver seven dollars like, <laughs> dude what the fuck are you I'll, sleeping on a kitty bed dude what i'm telling like? no i got a california king you did not get a California King bed frame for seven dollars. No, I, it not, it, but like, like, but like, it's cheap. Cheap as so it's a like motherfucker, like, dude. Like is I, is it one of those frames that's like just the metal bars? Yeah, yeah. I should probably get like the slat ones. Oh yeah, the slat, slat ones. That that's great because it adds some good support, especially you got like a memory foam. Yeah, like that's what we have for both of our memory foams is like the slats. Um, yeah. I just I got screwed though because like the one bed I used to have, I had to stop using because it was like. It eats you. Like you lay down and it's <laughs> and it just goes up around you and you're gone. Yeah. Uh, and then the new one I got was supposed to be like medium firmness. But of course, I bought it from Amazon, which means like uh, it's kind of like when you buy a large shirt and then it looks like it would fit a toddler. Yeah. You know, so it's like it's like medium firm. And I'm looking in the comments, you know, I'm Is going like down hard as like, a brick? like, well, you know, it's not hard as a brick, but it's definitely not what I would call a medium firm. So like, was it was it like harder or softer than you than you wanted no it's definitely harder than i wanted because like i wanted some give with my back uh-huh. and it it's definitely soft but it's like i don't know man like there's there's a little too much like uh because i sleep on my side so i like it to kind of dude i'd be waking up man i'd be waking up my arms half asleep my fucking <laughs> leg is bent behind my head like i'm <laughs> telling you man i wake up fucked up sometimes from that bed <laughs> Seriously, I need to get a new one. Like, real talk. Like, I'll wake up. My fucking fingertips are, like, numb. There's, like, circulations cut off. And my yeah, fingertips are blue. Yeah, do a puffy, blue. man. My, they're blue. They're... I, puffy or purple? Uh, Woodfield has a purple store now. Wow. That mattress. Like, I was actually kind of, like... Is that that weird shit, though, that's, like, like the breathable shit that, like, has, like, holes in it? Uh, Well, I mean, not, like, that you actually lay on. The way that it works is they use... um like a, a memory foam gel and it's like hexagon shaped so yeah, it's i don't know like if it, i fuck it with it kind of allows airflow to cool the bed how about that one fucking 
dude that's on every picture. What's his name? My, my pillow. Oh, my pillow. Yeah, that's another yeah. like Phil Swift ass motherfucker. He's yeah, everywhere. He's like an ass TV, uh, as seen on TV, dude. Yeah, it's so funny seeing those like sections at stores. Like, the yeah, but I can't on. buy it. That's his pillow. Like, it's terrible marketing. I'm not gonna buy it. And he's like, it's mine. It's like, yeah, All right, well, don't buy it. it. Yeah, I don't want to fucking buy it. I guess I um I don't understand the the as seen on TV shit because I'm like where. What TV? Yeah, are you right. Watching? What the fuck? They, Target's got an entire think, aisle for yeah, that. Yeah, I don't think that's like a thing. Like that's like, I, I think when they say as seen on TV, it's like made in they China need to change cheaply it to like, and very bad. It needs to say like as seen on like TikTok or some shit nowadays. As no, because not even man. I don't even see that shit on TikTok. I don't it's know like where as people are see- seeing it. It's like as seen on YouTube reviews, like YouTube yeah. reviews for products or some shit. But they stay claim it's as seen on TV. Because you know what it is though is it's like that was stuff that actually used to be on TV. Like so, like the it, Gotham yeah. cookware or whatever that uh-huh. used to be on TV all the time. It's yeah. like not anymore. Maybe but... in small letters it says like as seen on TV in two thousand four. Right. Yeah. Like that's what it means though. Because like the, 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 those yeah. same products are still going, and I'm over here like it's like a genre of pop. How? It's, I think the reason why they say as seen on TV still is because it's like a genre of product. I think it's a brand. Like, that would be genius. No, I think it is actually like called as seen on TV brand. Like well, they, they have other products under their, their that parent brand. makes sense because it's like, why do I need a spoon that is also a back scratcher that like is, I can mean, also pick up my dog's shit? That's an as seen on TV product. <laughs> I, I don't know if you're being serious because that could actually be an That's SC the type of shit. It would be product. like, this football also is a, you know, a baseball bat. Right. Yeah. You just keep you, it in your you car. Just, you deflate it and you extend it. Yeah. Like, you know, or like some dude, I swear to God, I, I'll always go down those aisles and I'll be like, oh, only three easy payments of fourteen ninety nine in Target right now. And I could have this. <laughs> they get you. This, this egg cooker. Okay. We actually have. A, a boiled egg cooker. It yeah. was an as seen on TV one. It's the. Do you do you remember the commercials? Or you've probably seen the YouTube memes. You remember the one lady that's got like the, she's got like the ginger hair, like and she's really old. She does like the 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 copper cookware stuff. Maybe she looks like every, she looks like everyone's grandma. Okay, and she's always like you know, oh, we're gonna cook this thing and it's not gonna stick to the pan and right. like she gets all you know. Uh, I don't remember her name, but that's actually one of her products. It was okay. like this. It's like a little th- a little thing, and you fill it with water, and then you put the eggs, and you and then you put another one, and you, you can make like seventeen ed- hard boiled eggs at once. Who the fuck like is steam- eating? Who is eating that? Man? Danny DeVito. Uh, <laughs> okay, All right. Bro, Fair okay. Enough. I sent that. I sent the "Can I offer you an egg in these trying times?" gift to my friend last night, and okay. immediately was like, "I want boiled eggs." Like, yeah, I'm gonna eat seventeen of them. I okay. mean, I'm well, but like, so when we do parties, we do have legs. Yeah, like, party, dude, party, hardy. Yeah, we'll do parties where it's literally just four people drinking. Have you seen this Dahmer like, shit yet or no? Party. <laughs> have you seen the Dahmer shit yet? Party hardy. Gonna have a few brewskis. <laughs> Dude, the fact that you're so... I'm gonna just say this. I gotta say it before we end because we're gonna end in a, in a few minutes here. Yeah. The fact that you're so out of the loop. Yeah. It, it's in a good way. It's. I promise it's a good way. Makes things hilarious. I think for the listener as well as me. Yeah, well, I'm so when like I go, actually, when I, a ninety-year-old man. So. When I go, hey, you want to go back to my place, have a couple brewskis, we could take some pictures, party hardy. That's all I want to do. You have no fucking idea what I'm talking about. Sounds like, uh, but it's because it sounds like something I wouldn't, I would say no to politely, and then not drink any drinks you hand to me. <laughs> it's because it's from Dahmer of the new show, uh, Netflix. Oh well, Adam that's Peters. why. But then it's like, but it's. I'm not, I don't know. Or like, I'll like, I'll bring up a TikTok meme and you'll be like, what? And, but yeah. I think that makes sense. But I, it's funny because it, it, I'm on TikTok now. I but know, like, but it's, it's, trust me. I just get hit with all the wrong shit. It, it, it I think it's funny because it's like, you're a non, you're a, a, um, it's like, what's the, like biased. You're not biased to anything. So I could just be like, have you seen this meme? I should probably start changing my wordage to like, instead of, have you seen this meme? I should just be like, so there's this meme. Because yeah, you're not gonna see it. I'm never gonna. Have, <laughs> yeah, I'm, and I've never, I've never. But the Dahmer shit, dude. The for memes sure. for that shit is so funny because, like, they're like his whole thing is like. Uh, I mean, uh, let me preface this by saying, like, because I, I don't want people to be pissed at me. Like, the Dahmer situation obviously was horrific, and rest in peace to all the victims that were affected by this and the families. Obviously, it's not funny to make light of it, but the the show, the adaptation of it, there's some memes going around because it's a show. 
Uh, that was based on real events. Also, the internet. Like, it's the, the queen internet. died, yeah, of and course. five minutes later, they released of course, memes. Right. So, so it's like... Horrible situation. Fuck that guy to death. But... Isn't he dead? He's dead. He got killed in prison. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Right? He, yeah. he didn't even make it to his life sentence. Yeah. Hell no. Hell no. He was supposed, um, wasn't he supposed to be executed, too? Or they just... They, they, they don't... They didn't have the... In, in uh, Wisconsin, they don't have the death penalty yeah, at the time. And they were, like, um, talking about... John Wayne Gacy's fat ass, though. He got fucking... He got canned. Yeah. He got... <laughs> <laughs> that fucking clown. Dude, did I ever tell you that I, I knew a chick one time who I was hanging out at her house and she had a picture. This was like back in the day. She had a picture of her dad as a kid with John Wayne Gacy. And every time I went over there. I feel I, like you just would take that down. Like you wouldn't. No, every time I went over there, I wanted to steal it because I was like, that bitch has got to be worth something. <laughs> like I wanted to. I would be like, do you realize that you have a picture of. It, it, it was like, cause you know, we live in Illinois and that's yeah. where a dude was. I mean, we've seen, I've, I, I've driven past where his, like where the location of his house was. It's, it's now a, a new home. They built it. Yeah. I've also driven it. past where Obama's home was. Oh yeah. Then they have, they have a plaque up for that now too, right? Yeah. I think yeah. so. But you know, so we, so nice house. it's like, I, I, you know, whatever it's, it's everyone like you grow up in Illinois, you know, of the fucking, of that fat prick. Yeah. So I saw this picture of him as a clown, like dressed up as a clown. I'm like that your whole entire existence is like determined on the fact that after this photo was taken, your dad like walked free. Like that's a crazy, that's crazy. That's yeah. It's like, a, but it's she like didn't a, think it, it was just like another changing moment. It was just like another picture. I'm like, dude, that's a picture of your dad and John Wayne Gacy. Sell it on eBay for $20,000. <laughs> <he> tonight. Too? <laughs> no, dude, he, li- uh, yeah, I don't know. Right. But, Either way, anyways, what I was gonna say about the ju- mm. the, the Dahmer, Dahmer shit situation yeah. before we head off here, yeah, he watched The Exorcist, the third one, with everyone. It said it got him in the mood or whatever. So there's like a clip of him. I was like, I told you, we're just gonna watch a movie and then take some pictures. And he like goes over and throws the you know v- the VHS in the thing and plays a movie. But people are overlaying that with like a bunch of shit. It's like I said, we're gonna watch Shrek two. And we're just going to take some pictures and the memes are, are hilarious. So that's all I was going to say. Uh, but watch that show. But again, fuck Dahmer, fuck Gacy, fuck anyone that kills people. Cause you're fucking, you're a coward. And, uh, that's it. Sad cast. That is podcast in the world. Peace.